This is not something that's supposed to happen in America. It's an indication of how polarized people have become. I would even liken attempted assassination attempts to attempted terrorism attempts because both are attacks that stem from ideological disagreements. No matter what people believe, they should not be killed for attending a campaign rally. Hi everybody, tonight there was an attempted assassination on presidential candidate and former president Donald Trump and it is being investigated as such, it's being investigated as an attempted assassination. I wanted to address this to talk about what this means for democracy. No matter what you think about Donald Trump or his politics, assassination attempts are never good for democracy. I would even liken attempted assassination attempts to attempted terrorism attempts because both are attacks that stem from ideological disagreements. Neither are compatible with civilized society. And this attempted assassination is like a physical manifestation of how bad our politics have become and how polarized people have become when it comes to their political choices. Again, that's not good for society. It's a bad sign that shows us that talking to each other is difficult. You only resort to violence when the words don't work anymore. So this is just kind of an indication of how far apart we've become that someone thinks that you can't talk about politics. This is not something that's supposed to happen in America, although obviously assassinations and assassination attempts have happened in America. This is not how we want to think about our politics and about our political system. It's an historical event and it's a terribly horrible negative event and a dark mark on on our political system that we can allow this to happen. I'd like to add that I have seen some horrible comments online and to feed into this is completely inappropriate because nothing positive comes from an assassination attempt. One person in attendance at this rally in Butler, Pennsylvania was killed tonight. A horrible, horrible tragedy. No matter what people believe, they should not be killed for attending a campaign rally. Now the shooter was also killed tonight. He was killed by a Secret Service counter assault team member. There have been three previous assassination attempts of Donald Trump. All of those uh, ended in arrests. This one, because of how serious it was, that I mean, shots were fired on the president. That shooter, again, was killed by the Secret Service. President Biden addressed the assassination attempt, saying there's no place in America for this kind of violence. He says, we can't condone this in America. And the question remains, how could this have happened? The campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania had a very heavy Secret Service presence. It should have been the safest place for people to gather. I'm sure that there will be an investigation into the security failure, and perhaps they might rethink whether those rallies continue to happen outdoors. Uh, now this comes just as we're about to go into the Republican National Convention. The RNC begins on Monday. I, as a journalist, have covered uh, the national conventions and they are incredibly uh, locked down events. Lots and lots of security, very heavy uh, security presence. And I'm sure that those that are in charge of security are going to rethink how they do security and perhaps even make it even more secure and add additional measures. I wouldn't be surprised if they reevaluate some of their security measures and protocols. Again, implement additional protocols, but this is a very serious, serious incident that happened and I'm sure that we're gonna be talking about it throughout the Republican National Convention and beyond as we head into the November election. Now this assassination attempt could have ended in a disaster. Again, no matter what you think about Donald Trump and his politics, any assassination attempt or assassination is a catastrophe for American democracy. Assassinations, assassination attempts, those are not compatible with democracy or civilized society. So this was a shocking and horrible event. Again, it's an indication of how polarized people have become. The fact that somebody feels like they need to shoot uh, a candidate because of their politics, just shows you how far away we've come from being able to discuss the important issues. And I hope that we're able to get back to using our words. There are so many issues with gun violence that basically comes down to people not being able to talk to each other. Being able to communicate and to talk with people, that's the antidote to this. So again, this could have been an even worse disaster than it already was. And I do believe that we're going to be talking about it for 
a little while to come now. Again, this was an historical event. This is not something that is synonymous with American politics, even though there, like I said, even though there have been assassinations and assassination attempts in a civilized society, in American democracy, the reason that the world looks to America because of our political system is because of how peaceful it generally is. Generally, we don't resort to murdering the candidates. So hopefully they'll get to the bottom of what went wrong and fix some of the security issues as we move, especially as we move into the Republican National Convention, which begins on Monday. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and for listening to it. If you've gotten this far and you enjoy this type of content, you know what to do. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Uh, when you do that, YouTube then pushes it out to more people, gets more eyes on the video, and you really help me to grow my channel by doing those little things. So thank you so much. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. And if you're not, please become one and tell your friends. Bye.